Hello and good afternoon to everyone. Welcome to study in study IT cybersecurity in Australia Pacific Training Group. Good day also to all our viewers from LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. I am Ines. And I am Lila. And we will be your hosts this afternoon. The other day, we held our first online live event for India and Nepal. Thank you to everyone who joined us, and we hope that you stay with us again this afternoon. We are very excited to invite you guys to join us in Pacific Training Group and study in Australia. Yes, indeed. We have prepared many things for you today, and towards the end of our program, we will have a Q&A session. So if you have any questions, type them in the comment section. That's right. And as a bonus, we have also prepared a raffle draw. So stay tuned and you might be one of the lucky winners to enjoy our limited and event exclusive prizes. And with that, you'll get 35% uh, course fee discount plus a chance to win a $30 e-voucher. So all you have to do is share this live stream on your social, Facebook or YouTube and click on the link bit.ly slash ptg event. Now this link is also pinned to the comment section below. Um, so just click on it so that you can join. Our winners will be announced at the end of this program. So stay tuned for a chance to win these exciting prizes. All right, so without further ado, let's dive into our program. To start with, Ines, can you tell us who Pacific Training Group is? For Lila, the Pacific Training Group, or PTG, is one of the leading vocational education training providers in Australia. With the mission, enabling students to create thriving careers in Australia and globally. We have been in the industry since 2015 with more than 20 Australian qualifications and over 30 short courses. In 2019, we started to offer these courses online as well. And with more than 50 industry partners, we're able to help our students get into studying and living in Australia more easily. Yes, we also have modern campuses, experienced trainers, and great connections to industry. Plus, you will also have access to world-class e-learning resources for our platform called PTG Online. That's right. Here at PTG, we strive to have a great community of trainers, staff, and fellow learners who will support our students throughout their journey. Now, this, is, this wouldn't be possible if we didn't have our own place of learning, right? So depending on your needs, you may choose to study in any of our two campuses. So the first one is, on, is in Sydney, and it's located in Permont, New South Wales. The second one is our Gold Coast campus, located in Servers Paradise, Queensland. And we have the following videos to let you in on a sneak peek of student life in Sydney and Gold Coast. Sydney and New South Wales offer cutting edge, industry relevant education opportunities for international students. Our world-leading universities and thriving vocational education sector help deliver the foundation for rewarding lifelong careers. New South Wales also boasts some of Australia's leading private providers, specialist English language colleges and secondary schools. We are leaders in education with multiple universities ranked in the top 200 QS World University Rankings. New South Wales is Australia's most innovative and dynamic state with 64% of the nation's tech startups based in Sydney. Nearly half of Australia's top 500 companies are based in New South Wales, offering diverse employment opportunities during and after study. In addition to Sydney, New South Wales has four regional study destinations, the North Coast, South Coast, Newcastle and Hunter Region and Country New South Wales that offer exceptional education and employment opportunities. With a wealth of world-class qualifications, New South Wales can help you make a difference in the world, whatever pathway or career you choose. Warm, welcoming, truly multicultural, and with award-winning beaches, food, and entertainment, 
New South Wales is the right choice for students seeking internationally recognised qualifications and successful global careers. So what I love the most about Sydney and New South Wales, I really like the city. I can go maybe 20 minutes, go to the beach, 30 minutes, go to the most beautiful bushwalk you've ever seen. And that's just a city in particular. In the morning, when I go for a walk, I often see dolphin. I feel like I live in paradise. Going and studying abroad was always like a dream. The feeling is amazing. I wasn't expecting all of this, to be honest. I still find myself spoiled for choice after three years. How a city can keep offering you forms of entertainment, that's a beautiful thing which I haven't really experienced anywhere else. It has the best combination of city life and just beautiful sceneries. New South Wales has a lot of a prestigious university which can provide you the best quality of education. Besides very good education, it's just a place where you can have fun as well. You get to meet so many different people in and out of class. Everyone is more relaxed. Everyone kind and friendly and teacher also helpful. It's a very good place to find support for whatever you need, especially for international students. We get here with different kinds of um, insights and education. I feel safe and I feel welcome. I would just highly recommend coming to New South Wales to study. Visit the Study New South Wales website to explore your study options. Student life seems like a blast in Sydney and Gold Coast. There's so much to explore aside from just studying. 
Indeed, Lila. So watching these videos just makes me want to go travel. That's right. And speaking of travel, Anna, so we have a very special guest who is currently studying at PPG. She is here to share with us her experience. Please help me welcome Vida. Hi, my name is Vida and I'm a student at PDG. Thank you for having me today. Excited to be here and share what I know. We're also excited that you're able to join us today. Despite not being able to meet face to face at this event, we are very thankful um, for giving us a little bit of your time. That's right, Lila. And thank you again, Vida. I heard that you're currently on vacation. Yes, it's good to be back home here in the Philippines. Uh, the travel was very smooth. It was an eight hour direct flight. So happy to see my daughter, my family, and very excited to go to Boracay, one of the best beaches in the world located here in the Philippines. Wow, that's ma that makes me want to go on a vacation as well. <laughs> well, before you get carried away with the vacation feels, let's talk about the benefits of studying abroad. All right. So as you can see, 97% of study abroad graduates will get a job in 12 months or less. You're likely to earn higher salary, get more skills, and match more jobs. Very good opportunities, don't you think, Lila? Yes, because here in PPG, we do our best to give the needed training and also connect our students to job opportunities or further studies. That's nice. So even after I finish my studies, I can still stay in Australia, get a job, meet more people, and develop my skills. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. And that's exactly what Pacific Training Group is here for. Cool. So moving on, Lila, we all do so many things online nowadays, right? What do you think is the scariest thing that can happen to you? Ooh, there are a lot, but one is definitely getting hacked. Now, that's true. Um, since, you know, ever since, you know, we all um, been locked down at home so many people are being scammed or hacked our online accounts may be hacked and important details can be stolen correct yeah and it's there's even more trouble if you're a company with all the important details from your clients you need to make sure that your systems are very safe and very secure that's right, which is why PTG offers a course that focuses on protecting information um, information technology systems. We have the IT Cybersecurity Course. This course is designed to help our students build their knowledge and skills in digital security, which is very important in every organization. Now, with global modernization, business, government, and even personal transactions, constantly face the threat of cybercrime. Yes, it's a very serious threat indeed, especially that cyber criminals are also becoming more high tech with their methods to bypass IT systems. This course will help you get ahead of these criminals in protecting IT systems. That's right, and we have two qualifications for IT cybersecurity. First, we have the Diploma of IT Cybersecurity. To give an overview of what will be covered in these qualifications, let's have Vita explain a little bit. Thank you, Lila. So the students will develop specialized advanced skills in applying cybersecurity strategies, including designing and maintaining database architecture, performing operational establishments, execution of preventive maintenance of backups, performing recovery procedures, enforcing security and integrity protocols, implementing and administering database documentation, liaising with security to key personnel, troubleshooting and providing service support, maintaining documentation and system logs, monitoring performance of networks, and making recommendations for enhancement. When you complete the diploma, you can proceed with the Advanced Diploma of IT Cybersecurity. With the Diploma of Cy IT Cybersecurity, an advanced diploma, the students will research and apply concepts of cybersecurity, lead and manage team effectiveness, promote workplace cybersecurity awareness and best practices, interact with clients on a business level, manage intellectual property, ethics and privacy in ICT environments, monitor business activities in an ICT environment, evaluate organizational and compliance, perform cybersecurity risk assessments, and design and implement cybersecurity infrastructures. 
Thank you for that, Vida. Now, once they finish, Laila, can you tell us about job opportunities waiting for our students? I would love to. Our students can thrive in IT support services, auditing and business administration, public and administration safety, and financial and insurance services. They will become qualified IT officers, security analysts, incident responders, and virus technicians. Thank you, Lila. As you can see, this course is really important to safely navigate today's highly digital and tech-dependent world. So again, we have the Diploma of IT Cybersecurity and the Advanced Diploma of IT Cybersecurity. Now this time, Lila, can you show us our educational pathway? Sure, Ines. But before we continue, I'd like to remind everyone to join our raffle draw. Just share this live and click on the link bit.ly slash TTG event to enter your details. We're more than halfway on our program, so make sure you make it before the cutoff. So, to continue, PTG's education pathway is really easy. All our courses are delivered in English, so you can start with an English course if you think you have to improve on your English first, or if you're already good in the language, you may proceed directly to any of the courses discussed. Afterwards, you can continue higher education, like completing a university degree or taking up other qualifications. Or you can go ahead and use your learning to your current or your prospect work. And when you enroll, you will also have the following options. So you can study in, on campus where you will have an actual class with your trainers, meet other students and instantly address concerns. Now you can also study 100% online. Now this will make it easier for those who are busy with work because you can complete the units anytime and anywhere. That's wonderful, Ines. But what if I want to study on campus, but I don't have time during the day? Or I'm interested, but I'll only be available at the end of this year? Well, not to worry, Lila, because we have flexible options for our class schedules as well. You can choose between day classes or evening classes. Our next intake will be on September 26th, but if you need more time to prepare, we have another intake in October. You can even plan as far ahead as 2023, 2024, and 2025. That's right. PTG also thinks about the personal schedules of our students. That's why we have term breaks for our students to relax and explore the many beautiful places in Australia. Amazing. So aside from studying, they can also travel like Vida. Exactly. <laughs> so now let's talk about how to get started. Ines, can you tell us more about the requirements for enrollment? Absolutely. We have simplified the requirements for our students. All you need to be is at least 18 years of age, have completed year 11 or equivalent studies, and have an upper intermediate level of English or higher, IELTS 5.5 or equivalent, or successful completion of PTG's Language Literacy and Numeracy Assessments, or what we call LLN Assessment. For the document, you will only need to send us copies of your valid passport, academic transcript translated into English, your updated CV or resume, and your English proficiency documents. So pretty much just the very basic requirements that are easy to comply with. I may even have those documents on hand at home, so I'm sure it's pretty easy for everyone to comply with. Now, PTG can also help in processing and completing visa applications with the help of our migration experts. When you arrive in Australia, you can also avail of our airport pickup services so you can go straight to your accommodation. And speaking of accommodation, we have also partnered with the following companies to ensure the comfort of student living. The Study Vision, Global Experience, Australian Homestay Network, and Linked Student Living. These companies provide different options like a homestay, co-living options, VIP homestay, parent-nominated accommodations, and caregiving services. These accommodations are highly secured facilities, affordable, and most especially comfortable. There are also flexible packages of meals and utilities available, all to make sure our students live a hassle-free lifestyle while studying in Australia. Cool, so let's now watch these videos for an overview of the different kinds of accommodations as well as tips 
upon arrival of international students in Australia. Okay. Every lunch and every dinner, uh -huh. he cooks and I yeah. cook. So okay. We're just like wife and husband. Hey, Juan, should we buy some <laughs> some rice? Oh, uh, like, yeah, yeah, darling. Living with other people, it's quite hard for me because I'm a little bit messy. But it's make me grow up quickly, though. Homestay was so much fun. I I love living with real Australian family, so I miss them so much. Living on campus is so much fun, and um, the fact that you can make friends from all over the world and get together, it's amazing. I love you, I miss you, my darling. I never knew how to cook before I came here, but I'm being a professional of Korean food, being proud of myself. Today, we look forward to welcoming you to Australia. Here are some tips for a smooth arrival into Sydney Airport. Once you've touched down, step one is going through the Australian Border Force. Make sure to have your passport, student visa and other documents ready to show the officer. Next, it's time to collect your bags. Look out for the baggage collection signs and make your way down to the carousels. Once you're there, check out the screens to find your flight number and which belt your bag will be on. Now you're ready to visit the New South Wales International Student Welcome Desk. Look out for the friendly volunteers in bright pink t-shirts. Give them a wave and say hi. They can answer all your questions and will have the information you need, including transport, SIM card and general advice. There are a few different transport options. You can catch the train direct to the city, catch a rideshare or taxi, or arrange to meet a friend at the pickup zone. Safe travels! We look forward to welcoming you to Sydney and New South Wales and wish you well for your studies. You're going to love it. Wow, there's so many accommodation types to choose from, right, Lila? I know, the students in the video really look like they're having fun. Yeah, and it seems to me like they're, uh, they're just on a really long and fun camping trip with friends, and they're meeting new people. Exactly, and I like the one student testimonial where she was forced to master cooking. I'm sure Vida can explain to us more about what it's like to moving to Australia as well. That's right. Vida, what was your um, most unforgettable experience um, when you relocated from your country to Australia? Oh, um, well, there's lots, but to name a few, it's, um, well, the Sydney Aquarium, <laughs> where, you know, I've seen sharks, uh, stingrays, manta rays, jellyfish, and dugong. Um, there's also um, this thing that I do. So I, I drive here in the Philippines, but uh, in Sydney, I, I used to take public transport. And I'm just so amazed how, you know, public transport, even the trains, buses are just so easy to follow. It's the best. That's great to hear. And definitely the Sydney Aquarium is one of the must be places in Sydney. Um, were there any adjustments that you had to take during your stay? Um, and how was living in Australia different from living in your home country? 
Uh, well, one thing for me to note is the work-life balance. So people back home, well, people here uh, live 24-7. Um, as you know, shops are open here, um, most of them, 24 hours a day. But um, in Sydney, they close at 5, 6 p.m. Um, but what's good about that is, you know, it's work-life balance. No, um, work will never contact you, almost never contact you after 6, even on the weekends. So work-life balance is very important in Sydney, in Australia. Thank you so much for that, for sharing your experience with us, Vida. That's really great um, insight from our very own students. With all we have talked about so far, I'm sure by now everyone has one big question in mind. How much is it to enroll in a course? I'm glad you asked, Ennis. Um, starting at 560 Australian dollars a month, you can already get into any of our courses that we've discussed. Amazing. And if you stay with us until the end, you will get big discounts when you enroll in any of PTG's courses within the promo period. So isn't it just exciting to study overseas? I hope our viewers now know how to start their learning journey in Australia. Definitely. And with everything that we've covered, some of our viewers may still have some questions. So let's now proceed with the most interactive part of today's event, the Q&A. Hope you're all able to type in your questions in the comments so that we can answer them. That's right. Let's see what our first question is. Okay. So do both campuses offer all courses or are there courses that are only offered in a specific campus? If yes, which courses? All right, thank you for this question. So we offer all our courses um, in both campuses. So it's really just up to you whether you want to study in the city or if you want to study in a more laid back um, environment in Gold Coast. What is the duration for each course? That's a great question. So for the Diploma of IT Cybersecurity, it's one year and six months. For the Advanced Diploma of IT Cybersecurity, it's one year and three months. But if they're packaged together, it shortens down to just two years. Is there a maximum age limit? Okay, very interesting question. There is no maximum age limit. We do have a minimum though. So a student has to be minimum of 18 years of age in order for them to enroll. So, but um, there is no um, maximum age that is considered. How much does homestay cost? Okay, so um, homestay varies from provider to provider, but the Average cost ranges from around 235 Australian dollars to 325 per week. Um, and you can also read um, more on what to expect by visiting the blog, or our blog, sorry, um, on our website, pacifictraining.edu.au slash Australia. How long can students stay in homestay? All right, cool. So. Um, it would depend on the student, really. So if you would like to stay longer than your course, so after maybe a year, if you've finished your course and you wish to stay still in homestay, that's fine. And it's, you just have to talk to your homestay provider and see if that's possible. Most of them agree that um, as long as you'll be able to um, pay the fees. And yeah, just let them know and they'll talk to you about it. And I think that's our last question for today. Thank you everyone for um, sending in all your questions. We hope we were able to address all of them. Now, don't worry if you still have questions, maybe later if you rewatch this, you can always reach out to us at inquiries at pacifictraining.edu.au or visit our web website at pacifictraining.edu.au. And so well, we've come to the most exciting part of our program. As promised, we will now raffle off a $30 e-voucher. We have picked among our viewers who are able to submit their entries into our bit.ly link. Okay, and our winner. Our 
our winner is Ram Patel. Congratulations, Ram. Um, please wait for our email uh, with further instructions on how to claim your voucher. Yes, but wait, there's more. Congratulations to all our participants. Everyone who submitted their entries are eligible for a 35% course fee discount as long as you enroll um, on or until rather January 2023. Wow, Ines, this means everyone's a winner. So we'll send out your discount codes through the emails that you provided in your registration. So please check out your inbox from time to time and look out for an email from us. Hooray. <laughs> All right. And before we officially end today's event, here are a few announcements. Now we will hold four more virtual events. Um, to present the other courses that we are offering. So we have event management um, next um, on Wednesday, 28th of September. We also have marketing and communication on the 5th of October. Project management and human resource, 19th of October. So those are all Wednesdays. Now for leadership and retail management, that's a Thursday, the 10th of November. Now, all of our events are going to be at 1 p.m. India local time, and that's at 1.15 Nepal local time. For more information, make sure to visit our official website at pacifictraining.edu.au, our Facebook page, Pacific Training Group, Twitter at Pacific Training 3, and Instagram at Pacific Training EDUAU. All right, so thank you so much for staying with us until the end. Thank you also to our lovely student guest, Vita, for sharing with everyone what PTG is all about. Any advice to our viewers, especially those who are planning to study and relocate to Australia? Sure. I definitely recommend Australia. Six months in and I already felt that Australia is home. Why? I want you to see it for yourself. I definitely recommend Pacific Training Group. PTG is one of the best schools in Australia for me because they try their best to understand their students' needs by offering affordable courses. Hope to see you guys here soon. It's really great to hear, Vida. Thank you so much for all of your insights. This session has been very informative thanks to our personal input and sharing. I hope we were able to inspire you to study in Australia and enroll in Pacific Training Group. So, Ines, I believe that we're ready to wrap up for today. Yep. On behalf of Pacific Training Group team, I would like to thank everyone for joining our virtual program, Study IT Cybersecurity in Australia, Pacific Training Group. We look forward to seeing you in Australia and here at Pacific Training Group for your successful career start. This has been your host, Lila and Ines. See you soon and have a lovely afternoon. Bye. I came to Australia to improve myself, to study and create a better career, always looking for new experiences and a different lifestyle. After a short period in Sydney, Still getting used to a new routine, the COVID arrived and made everything more difficult than I thought it could be. I had to invent ways to keep paying bills. I was away from home, from my family and my friends. The social distance made the process of making new friends be harder. Many times I felt alone. But at this point, the Pacific Training Group became a big Good morning, gift Talita. For me. How are you? Good morning. I'm good and you. I'm very good. Absolutely great to see you today. Yeah. I started having classes online with one of the best professors I have ever had in my life. The support online from the staff is another point that helped me a lot. Today I can say that I see hope in the future 
because the school gave me ways to improve my abilities. They believe in their students and make us fight for a better future. And I want to thank all of them to believe in me. I will keep my journey always looking forward.